Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to go through Act 7.1.2, second quest of Act 7.1. All right, so I'm going to take you through the path that I chose for my initial clear. You may choose a different path. I suggest that you look over the paths and keep in mind your own roster and your own skills. Now, the path that I chose was this one here, which is destructive feedback. That's not necessarily a path for everyone. And as you'll see a little bit later, um, I did have some difficulty a little bit later on. Um, but with destructive feedback, as you can see, uh, it's easy to play around, but depending on the defender, it can be challenging. So they'll have a shield which prevents all damage. If you get touched, and that includes a parry, any contact, and you're going to take all of the damage that you dealt, and it's not going to be a good time, all right? So this first fight is against uh, Daredevil, Hell's Kitchen. He just recently got a rework and new animations, so I'm still learning his animations. Now, you saw in the beginning, the uh, shield was up. Right now, it's on cooldown. Now, you can touch, you can parry, you can do all of that. It's about to go now. All right, so at this point, any damage, if I get touched, I can't parry, I will take it all back. It's about to go on cooldown now, all right? So that's pretty much how you need to deal with this. One, two, three. He does seven hits in his special one. And so I have to focus three, four, five, six, seven. So you got to keep that in mind or else you're going to get caught. Um, when they just changed him, I had to keep counting in my head. Look at this. One, two, three. All right. But what I tried to do and ghost is who I intended to use for my path clearing. Uh, I have others that I could have used. You know, you can play around this node with anyone. You just have to be very conscious of what's going on. All right, now see here? Boom. I actually timed it so that he wouldn't even get a chance to fire his special three off. Because all the damage I had dealt to him was about to come upon him. And it was going to you know, basically coincide with my special two. So there was no chance he was going to survive that. Now, this fight can be tricky. She's very tricky to fight. All right. So in the beginning, we got hit. And if we get touched at this point, any damage we dealt will get back to us. But you notice we didn't do any damage. All right. So now... I'm trying to do as much damage during this phase here, and she's going invisible like she likes to do, all right? And I'm trying my best to uh, not get touched, and I don't do that very well. That whole passive style where I'm backing off, I don't do it well, and I almost always get caught somehow by the computer, all right? Now, here, I'm just trying to get her out of that, fire off my special two, and we're, you know, a little beat up, but still good. But then she caught me with that. For some reason, I forgot that she has a projectile on that. So I got caught by it. All right. In this phase here, uh, we're doing the damage. Now she's invisible. We don't dare try to attack her. Now we're good. You know, we need to get that invisibility off of her. That's why she's really tricky. All right. But we're doing okay, you know. And I'm still thinking, you know, we've got this. All right. And so here we go. That phase again. And if you're wondering why I'm, you know, attacking her a little bit more, it was to try and eat away the time. And you see here, I'm just scooting back. I'm in the corner now, which I don't like to be. All right. And now I got to worry about her invisibility. And there it goes. I lost track of it and got wrecked. So she can be very tricky because you have a lot of stuff that you're trying to deal with. You're trying to remember when she's going to go invisible because she has a counter up there. 
But at the same time, you're also watching the shield to make sure, you know, that you can play around that. Now, I could have gone in here with any of my champions, but I wanted to do that with Ghost. She is uh, by far uh, the easiest for me to work this particular path with. And it's, you know, I had her in mind when I chose this path. Now, if you don't have Ghost, you can still do this path, like I said, with pretty much anyone, uh, as long as you have the right counters for the different, uh, you know, opponents you're going to face. Uh, and you have to play around that shield. See, right here, we're good. We can do, you know, our damage. And we finished her off. So, a little bit of a tricky fight. I messed up, um, but Ghost can do this fight um, perfectly. You just have to play her a little bit better than I was playing her right there. All right, so now we've got Masaki. And he is also a tricky one. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to try and parry him because he can be difficult to parry. Now, right there, anytime you see me just standing there in the beginning like that, doing more uh, or taking more um, misses... It's because of a bug. I swipe back like I normally do. You see me do it in all the other fights. And she doesn't move. And that's the only reason that I'm just standing there like that at the beginning of the fight. Uh, because at the beginning of the fight, I want to maximize my damage by doing one hit while I have the Furies up from her phasing off my Liquid Courage and Double Edge Masteries. So I want to do that one hit. So there's no way I'm going to just stand there and let them swing three, four times at me. It'll be at most two. And then I'll try to do one hit, one hit until it goes away. Then I will try to do more. And as you saw there, messed up, went down real hard. It's all good. Uh, at this point, uh, even though I am producing these videos uh, per quest, I actually did my entire run straight. So I have not had a break or a rest since the first quest. And I probably needed to. I probably needed to reset my uh, game, maybe uh, turn off uh, the iPad a little bit. But I am stubborn and I hate doing that. I just like to sit down and go straight through, get it done. All right, uh, so you see here, we're back in it. We revive Ghost. Like I said, I could have done this with others, but I wanted to do this with Ghost. All right, so at this point, I don't wanna get touched. And I fired off that special too, because I knew that it would end about the time that that shield would end and he would take all that damage. So, a lot to keep track of. Now we're going to fight Dr. Voodoo. Now, these aren't difficult, other than Invisible Woman, who was a little tricky, and Masakri, who I just messed up against. Uh, not too difficult to fight here. Okay? So, at this point, I just don't want to get hit. Now, if you're not fighting with Ghost, you can actually do that initial parry, because remember that you, when you do any contact while that shield is up, you're only getting the damage that you've dealt. So the initial parry, you haven't dealt any damage yet. So that contact is fine. After the initial parry, if you do any damage, then you don't want to get touched by him or you don't want to parry, you don't want to touch. Um, you can hit him, of course, but you don't want him to hit you. And you don't want to try to parry him. All right. So that's pretty much how you're going to have to deal with this uh, destructive feedback. Now, I've also done this um, node with uh, Captain America Infinity War, for example. Uh, and I just play around that node. So I'll get that initial, you know, um, parry. And then after that, what I'll usually do is play keep away. 
you know, I'll hit into their block, do whatever I need to do to eat away at the time of the uh, shield. And then when the shield is on cooldown, that's when I go in. And I'll try to do as much damage during that phase as possible. Then I'll go back and uh, just wash, rinse, and repeat, really. All right, so also you notice that I'm not really healing up Ghost. I healed her up a little bit earlier, but not really healing her up. And right there, that lets you know I'm tired. What happened right there was because I was tired. And I'm just like, are you kidding? How in the world did I do that? But it is what it is. Revived her because like I said, I'm stubborn and I want to use her uh, all the way through. I have fun fighting with Ghost. And other than, you know, these little mistakes that I'm making and, and uh, things like that, Act 7 was a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed Act 7 way more than I enjoyed Act 6 because I didn't really enjoy Act 6. Um, I'm like a little over half, maybe 60% explored. But when 7.1 uh, dropped, I said, oh, I need to do that. And at the time of this recording, I've already explored all of Act 7.1. But I went back because we had a whole season uh, worth of videos from Alliance War. And uh, so I'm just now getting to edit these. All right, but yeah, Act 7, way better than uh, Act 6. Very, very uh, fun. Uh, if you have the right counters, it is a fun, fun mechanic. All right, so we are getting him down pretty easily like we should have done the first time. Uh, but, you know, we got our revenge. Ghost did her thing. All right. Now, next up is Miles Morales. Now, Miles Morales can be tricky. He has these charges and he will evade, but his chance to evade goes down with the charges as well. So at max amount of charges, he has a high chance to evade, five. And then as he evades, the counter will go down and he will have less, less of a chance to evade. But with Ghost, and you'll see me doing one hit combos and special twos, because when she has that guaranteed crit, he can't evade. Those cannot be evaded, all right? So you'll notice he's got seven charges now because I fired off a special and gave him more charges, but you'll notice he's not evading. One hit, one hit, now we got the two, special two, and uh, we're just eating him alive, okay? So look at this, boom, boom, boom. And we got one more. And uh, now I could allow him to uh, miss a couple of times, but I like the one hit like that right there. I could have been doing that, letting him miss more, but this works out good for me as well. So Miles Morales is down. And we are now at the boss. This node right here, I love this. You can switch in a character, but I already brought someone I felt would be a good one for this, Symbiote Supreme. And I watched some videos and he seemed to be pretty good. Now, the main node you have to worry about here is that Chitinous Thorns, um, the cutting wires just don't bring a robot. Uh, but those thorns, if you have a bleed immune, then you're okay. Uh, and of course, the globals, uh, we talked about the globals in the last video. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm giving Ghost a little uh, warm up here. And whatever damage I can do is great because it's less that I have to do with the other guys. And like I said, I brought in uh, Symbiote Supreme, but Ghost can do this fight, all right? There's nothing wrong with Ghost being able to solo this fight. 
But now watch this. Sometimes you get the AI that will not throw their special one. And this is what I got here. So now I'm in the corner. And so I backed off. All right. Now watch this. Look at that. Did you see how fast he blocked? He recovered and blocked it so that I couldn't hit him. That, I hate that. I hate that with a passion because sometimes they will recover very quickly, a little bit faster than normal, and it'll throw your whole rhythm off. And I was in the corner, pushed him to a special two, and I was still trying to evade to a uh, um, phase, but of course I couldn't because I hadn't hit him and I still had that precision buff up. But now, I'm brought in Wasp. I don't think she's gonna do it because as soon as I get a bleed, she's gonna just bleed out. But you'll notice I haven't gotten a bleed yet. And I'm like, wow, okay. I didn't expect to be able to do it like this. All this damage I'm doing here is like bonus damage. And look, now he throws his special one. What do you know? And see, look at all those bleeds. All right, so I saw this. And so I'm gonna cut it short, just do one hit heavy and then lay down to go to sleep. But look at the damage that I did. Now, I'm thinking all this damage I'm doing is all good. This is something that I often do when I'm first facing a, a boss, a mini boss or a boss. Uh, I will go in with guys that I think might have a chance but not really and see like right there you know his miss mechanic all that doesn't matter because he's not bleed immune ghost i felt had a good shot but you'll notice i didn't heal her up or anything like that uh i was just going in to see what i could do now here this kind of ticked me off so initially you see he got rid of that armor up so that means no bleed back but look i got no staggers now I get a stagger, but it's too late. I've got a ton of bleeds on me. And he just bleeds out. I'm like, are you kidding me? So that kind of ticked me off because he can do the fight, but I had no staggers. I should have been able to keep staggering him so that he never got that armor up. Initially, it gets cleared away by Symbiote Supreme. And then... He should have not been able to get that armor up again, and I wouldn't have had to worry about any bleeds. But it didn't happen that way. All right, so now we're just cleaning up with Omega Red, last guy, but he doesn't care about bleeds. In fact, he heals from them. Hey, there he goes, firing the special one off again. And down he goes. Uh, at least we didn't need a revive on the boss. And later on, I soloed him with um, Ghost uh, most of the time. Um, I think you only have to do like two. And I believe I, I soloed him with Ghost the next time I went in there. Um, but in any case, that is going to do it, guys. Uh, you can see that you have to actually use some energy to get out for a little bit. But take care. Hopefully this video helped you out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all... Have a blessed day.